Hey everyone, Jose here with the Super GP Dennis, and today I wanted to go over with you guys uh, how we create a custom impression coping. And a lot of you might ask, why do I need to know how to do that, and why do I need a custom impression coping in my office? And uh, you know, if you're doing implants in the aesthetic zone, you want to do a custom impression coping to maintain the soft tissue architecture, keep that bulk and that width of soft tissue, and have a nice looking crown that looks flawless and seamless from the, from the start to finish there. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have uh, you know, a temporary that's already fabricated in, uh, in the mouth that you're happy with the way the soft tissue appears, the patient's happy with the way the soft tissue appears, and you're going to want to add it to the the temporary crown, you're gonna remove it to, from the mouth and you're gonna place it onto the lab analog. And here goes a close up of that. You just wanna make sure it's fully seated uh, into the lab analog, just like on the implant. Uh, and what I use for my materials to create a, a custom impression coping is a Genie Putty. It's fast set material, uh, it's PVS. Uh, it's a one to one mixture that you use to mix it and, and create your putty. Yeah, it's a great material. I like to use it in my office for a lot of different things here. But here you can see me mixing it with one hand. Uh, you just want to make sure you get a good consistency. Um, you got to make sure all the, the colors blend together. And I create a little block of the putty and I make it a little cube actually so I can fit the, the temporary with the lab analog attached to it. So make a little block, see it right on the table, and then I'll go ahead and place the, the lab analog and temporary right onto that. And I make sure it seats directly onto the table, nice and, nice and firm there. And then uh, I'll just squish the material around the temporary just to get it to seat and uh, just to get a good impression around there. And I usually just do it up to the height of contour. Uh, you want to give yourself access so you can remove the temporary crown when once the material sets. And I like to mark the buckle of this just to kind of give me a good idea of where, where we're starting from there because sometimes you'll, you'll get disoriented um, when you're doing this stuff. And then just let, the, let everything set and then you're going to remove the temporary crown and the lab analog is going to stay in place. Uh, and then here we have the, the impression coping that we're going to use to attach to the lab analog. And here you can see how tight we fit. It's uh, attached to that lab analog there. And I place it right onto the putty material with the lab analog in place. Uh, once uh, we have that set, then we're going to go ahead and just add your material of choice. I usually like to use some flowable. Uh, you can use any kind of little uh, resin or acrylic that, you, that sets. Um, I just like to use what's fast and, and, uh, and quick because you have, you have to keep in mind that you have the patient in the chair, the soft tissue is, is uh, kind of collapsing there uh, when, when they're in the dental chair and then you have this, you have to, you're in the laboratory fabricating this at the same time that the patient is there. Uh, I usually like to place a healing abutment or something to keep the soft tissue from collapsing, but uh, we'll go ahead and place the material in there, uh, make sure it's fully inserted around the the impression coping and then we'll go ahead and light cure everything and make sure you get a nice deep cure you don't want to just do this too quickly and then take it out and the material is not fully set um, but there we go we got the custom impression coping ready to go and we're just going to go ahead and place this directly into the patient's mouth take an x-ray to confirm it's fully seated and we have our custom impression uh, coping in place with the pbs here uh, and this just transfers everything over to the lab so that they know exactly what we're looking for for our uh, custom abutment and crown. And that's it. And if you guys like what you see, please subscribe.